Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And welcome back to Bonnie Baking, y'all. Hey, I know it's been forever since we baked something together. I know. Listen, life been life and trying to, yeah, anyways. So today, you seen the title. You seen it. We. Jimmy, I edit that out because we ain't trying to get no copyrights over here. Thank you. Anyways, back to my intro that I was trying to do before my child inter rudely interrupted. Today we are making a Snickers pound cake with the Coffee Mate. We not sponsored. Coffee Mate Snickers creamer. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Yeah, we doing it. We doing it. So, you know, I'm always going to be a fat kid at heart. And my brain was looking at something. I was looking for milk, y'all, to be honest with you. I was looking for regular milk. And this coffee creamer came across my screen. And I was like, Jamie, make a pound cake out of that. So here we are. Um... So we are doing a cup of this. Did I taste it? Yes, and it was delicious. Anyways, we're doing six eggs. We're doing three cups of sugar. Um, we're adding some pudding. I want this cake to be moist and I want it full of chocolate flavor. So I'm gonna sift this in with my three cups of all purpose flour. And we're doing three sticks of butter. This one is unsalted. Yeah, unsalted butter. I usually use salted butter. Don't, yeah, but anyway. So, also, we're going to do a caramel glaze, caramel sauce on the top. And we're going to add our nuts. Um, this is the only nuts I could find. Uh... Because I didn't feel like chopping up my own peanuts. So this actually has peanuts, almonds, cashews, walnuts, Brazil nuts, filberts, pecans, pistachios, and macadamia. So our Snickers bar going to have a lot of nuts in it. Whatever. We don't care. We're going to eat it. So um, as I always say, if you see this video, it means it came out good. <laughs> this is off the top of the dome. And we're going to see what happens. Come along. For... Bless you. <laughs> this, this is real life over here, y'all. Bless the baby in the background sneezing her little head off. Anyways, let's get into this cake. And let's see what we come up with, y'all. I am hoping for a good chocolatey deliciousness with some caramel and some nuts i listen in my head this gonna come out amazing if you see the video means it came out amazing let's get into it all right now we're going to sift our three cups of flour and our one package of chocolate pudding mix together we're gonna sift this just so that we don't have to worry about adding it later it'll already be incorporated in if you don't have an old school sifter you can use a colander the wire colander and just tap it until everything is combined It should look like that. All right, let's add our butter and our sugar to the mixer. We have three sticks of butter. This time I use unsalted. I usually like to use salted butter, um, but 
we got unsalted and also three cups of sugar all of the ingredients will be in the description box of this video If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you share this video out with your family and friends. We're on the road to 2K. We're going to mix this for about 10 to 12 minutes. Guys, the best thing to do is to set a timer and go do something else while this creams together. Make sure you scrape the side of your bowl from time to time. And you just want to make sure that it gets nice and creamy and fluffy and that there's no sugar crystals um, scraping the side of the bowl anymore. So just keep blending. I have this on a medium high level like a level five to seven to get this nice and creamy it's very important not to skip this step make sure that you cream that sugar and butter together really good By the time you're finished mixing, your yellow butter will turn like a really fluffy white color. And that's kind of an indicator that it's almost done. But just let the timer keep going until it's completed at least 10 minutes. If you have a hand mixer, same rules apply. See how it's already getting fluffy, but we're going to scrape down our sides. It's not quite 10 minutes yet. This is probably about 5 minutes in. Getting nice and fluffy. Alright, let's add our eggs in one at a time. It's easier to crack e your eggs in a bowl or a measuring cup so you can just pour them in one at a time. Mix it till you see the yellow disappear. It doesn't take a long time. Just keep mixing. This is on a high speed um, so you guys don't have to be here all day. but. Yeah, let it get mixed really good. Make sure you stop your mixer, scrape down your sides. You want everything very well incorporated into your mixture. Alright, 
now we're going to start with our alternating our wet and dry ingredients start with your dry in with your dry we're doing our flour just a little bit of that I added some vanilla because I forgot to put it in the the creamer so I just added about a tablespoon of vanilla we're mixing back and forth mind you this is on high speed so that you won't be here all day <laughs> but we're mixing back and forth alternating back and forth between the liquid and the dry if you could have smelled this batter it smelled like chocolate heaven it was so so chocolatey and delicious my kids were wanting to lick the beaters and they had a good time <laughs> On this part you don't have to beat forever just get it incorporated because you don't want the cake to be too dense you want it to keep that airy fluffiness and moistness Excuse my dog in the background. And the rest of your flour mixture and get that incorporated in. Once you get all your ingredients mixed in, make sure you take your spatula and go to the bottom and scrape everything and make sure everything is well combined. Get your beaters as clean as possible. Don't waste that good batter. I have a uh, angel food cake pan and it is sprayed with Baker's Joy. Go ahead and put your batter into the pan and bake on 325 for about an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and 25 minutes or so just check it after an hour and 15 to see if it is fully cooked Let's get this caramel made all right so on a medium heat you're going to do two sticks of butter I have salted because I wanted it to have a salted caramel flavor it's best to have your pan already heating before you put this in so it can go ahead and start melting
All right, get your butter melted. Then we're gonna add our brown sugar. All of the uh, measurements will be in the description box of this video. We use a little over a cup of brown sugar. Now this is where your patience comes in. You gotta stir this, keep it moving so that it doesn't scorch on the bottom of your pan. I'm going to switch to a whisk to make my life easier. And you're going to keep whisking until you get that nice caramel um, look to it. You'll see shortly it'll switch over, but you're going to keep whisking everything together until it's all combined until all your sugar crystals have cooked down and melted. This recipe can also be used for caramel popcorn. If you like caramel popcorn, you could use the same caramel glaze to put on your popcorn. It's absolutely delicious. Do not leave your whisk in your pot like I did. <laughs> I was doing too many things in the background. Once you get it to the color that you want, you're going to add your creamer to this um this is what you don't do <laughs> you take it off the heat before you add the creamer or your heavy cream if you're using heavy cream whisk that in until it gets to the consistency that you want you want it to be creamy and easy to work and pour not super thin not super thick you're gonna let it cool for a little bit before you put it on the cake now we're gonna poke some holes in the cake so that when we put our caramel glaze on it will seep down into the cake This part is not necessary. It's something I like to do to get the glaze to go down into the cake. This cake cooled for a while too, guys. All right, let's pour our glaze on. I'm gonna do a little bit at a time to give it time to seep down in that those little holes we just made. And it's okay if it runs in the middle. You get a little volcano of goodness in the middle with every slice. For those with nut allergies, this part next coming up is not necessary, um, but it definitely gave it that Snickers crunch on top. So we're going to put our nuts on.
Can you see how they slide on into the middle? <laughs> This cake was absolutely delicious, guys. Definitely give it a try. And again, if you have nut allergies, omit the nuts altogether. And the caramel and the chocolate was fantastic. Alright, we're going to let that cool for a second. It's going to seem like we did this right away, but we let it cool for a second and then we put the rest of our caramel on. Absolutely divine. Look how beautiful that looks, guys. Yum e. If you're new here, again, like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell another friend, share this video out. Let's get this video viral. Gonna add a few more nuts to the top. It gave it a nice crunch. It was absolutely delicious, guys. Let's cut into this moist, delicious cake, guys. Yum e. Look how moist. Yum. Let's taste it. Y'all, please, please, get your sound. Let's try. <laughs> I'm scared, y'all. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay. It's so moist, and it's so caramelly goodness. Get her shoes is always loud, y'all. Yup. Yup. Mmm. Mmm. Come on, and taste it, boy. You ain't gotta be on camera. Just come over there. Come over there to the side. Over there. Don't take the whole slice because I want some too. Please, please, hurry up. I'm trying to film the outro. We do got milk. Let her taste it. Tell the people. <laughs> uh. 
If you got diabetes, don't don't make this. If you got diabetes, the crust is so good. Like I love the crusty part, but baby, please understand, this is not for the faint of heart. Look at the moistness, y'all. Look at the volcano of caramel and nuts in the middle. Can you see? Thumbnail. What you think? The cake almost gone, y'all. On my plate. Oh. That was my plate. It's almost gone. Anyway, thank y'all so much for joining me for bonnet baking. Don't clock the fact that I got on a different bonnet. Mind your business. I love y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And let me know what y'all think in the comments, okay? And let me know if y'all make this for real. Because this this is fire. Fire. It's fire, y'all. I love you, and ain't nothing you can do about it. They, they cutting up over here. Bye, y'all. <laughs>